Well, good morning and welcome. A question, who is Jesus not willing to heal? Let's look at Mark 1, 40 to 45 and see if there are some interesting pieces here for us. Now a leper came to him, it came to Jesus, imploring him, kneeling down to him and saying to him, if you are willing, you can make me clean. Then Jesus moved with compassion, stretched out his hand and touched him and said to him, I am willing, be cleansed. As soon as he had spoken, immediately the leprosy left him, and he was cleansed. And he strictly warned him, and sent him away at once, and said to him, See that you say nothing to anyone, but go your way, show yourself to the priest, and offer for your cleansing those things which Moses commanded as a testimony to them. However, he went out and began to proclaim it freely, and spread the matter, so that Jesus could no longer openly enter the city, but was outside in deserted places, and they came to him from every direction. So there's our text. Uh, Jesus is willing to heal every sincere and needy soul. He's willing to heal them all. Did you see how much, how much hesitation did you see here with the leper? Are you willing to heal me? The leper wanted to know. Lepers were outcast in society. They were considered to be uh, having God's curse upon them for something they, you know, bad that they had done. Jesus doesn't hesitate. He just immediately says, oh, I'm willing. And he immediately heals this guy. So, um, what can we learn from this? Jesus is willing and ready to heal every sin-sick soul. But, you know, it's also true that God is too wise to make a mistake, and he knows sometimes that we need him to withhold that. Paul said, you know, that he had something he'd prayed about three times, but God chose not to remove it from him. It was important for him to have that difficulty or that weakness. And so, God said, my strength is sufficient for you. God does not take away everything. But whenever we need deliverance from sin, God is ready to give us that deliverance immediately. So here's what we have here then. God is looking to each person's salvation, and he is more than willing to heal anybody immediately. But again, in his wisdom, he will, he will give his healings wisely so that it won't keep you out of the kingdom, but that your reactions to it will be such that... that you will be able to advance spiritually. Sometimes that means we don't receive that healing immediately because God knows what's more important. So we've got to trust Him for that. Are we willing to trust Him to answer uh, our prayers? Sometimes we're only willing to hear His answer come in the way we want it. But that's, that's, not, that's not right. So think about that. Maybe you'd have a comment for us to add below if you want to in the comments. But anyway, right now, let's you and I pray. Dear Father in heaven, it's so good to see how quickly, how immediately uh, Jesus heals this leper. No hesitation. He was highly valued by Jesus, even though he was a total outcast in that society. Lord, I believe you are just as willing to heal uh, and deliver any of us from any challenges we face. So Lord, we, the question was, what is your character? Do you love all people or just certain ones? And your answer was, was very beautiful here. Thank you for that truth. Please bless us as we go through our days. Help us to know how to serve you. And Lord, help us to be willing to receive your answer. Sometimes you don't answer the way that we are hoping for. And sometimes it's better for our good that, that we don't receive. Even healings over life and death matters. And you have a purpose in what you do and what you choose not to do. Lord, I want to trust you for that completely. Thank you for hearing our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. So God be with you today and watch over you.